www.positivemindset.tv where each week we delve into the mindsets and see how they are creating our experiences. From our finances, our career, our children, our health, our relationships. Hi, my name is Lise Myers and I am so excited to have you here with us today. Today is a little different. We are having a special six week series on how to stop the negativity from overwhelming and destroying your life. Learning the secrets that others have to finding the right job or relationship or creating more money. In part two of the six series program, we are going to talk about germinating the seeds of your desires, passion, and wealth. Last week we talked about the first steps in our six part series. First was the soil, then the seed you are wanting to plant, next was watering and nourishing your new seed. After you've done those three things, something begins to happen under the soil. Germination. There is a great time lapsed video of a bean in germination on YouTube and here's the link for you. As you look at the video, it shows the roots begin to grow in the, seed, in the seed and bust through the shell. There has to be great pressure. Just like each of us when we were born, we first were very comfortable in our mommy's tummies. Then we grew and grew and the pressure began and we wanted to get out no matter where that was. So, it is with the seeds that we planted. When we set an intention, we decide we want to make changes in our lives for the better. All of a sudden, we are feeling the pressure from moving from the comfort zone to a place of feeling very uncomfortable. We had our intentions, but now we're not too sure about them. How many times have you started a New Year's resolution and as soon as you set the goals, you forgot them. I know I have. Remember, we are planting the seeds. And when we know that opposition is going to show up, then we can begin to prepare for it. So let's begin. We can begin with our resolution to stay in positive thinking. The easiest way is to say mantras. I have found that by doing the mantras and the positive statements or affirmations helps me a great deal. Another way is through positive change hypnosis that I offer with my clients. Think of this as affirmations on steroids. Hypnosis goes past the reptilian brain that resides at the base of our skull, of our skull right here. This brain is the one that tells us we can't do it. We're a failure. Forget it. Get back into that comfort zone where it's safe. Therefore, we need to program the mind with new beliefs and thoughts. We can do this by first creating a vision board or visualization like we talked about in the first series affirmations or positive statements and positive change hypnosis. This is what one of my clients said about our coaching session together. Lisa is a safe and good person who you can truly trust. Hypnosis is peaceful. You will change and grow into your positive statements and into the person you want to become. And that was Eileen. Thank you. As with the bean demonstration, you are going to feel pressure. Expect it and make necessary changes to become the person you want to become. So again, to recap on this second series, we're first going to prepare the soil, adding the nutrients. Look at that as awareness. Then the seeds that you are planting, those intentions. Next is the watering, the nourishing. What are your thoughts, your feelings, your actions? And then our second series was on germination, moving past the pressures that are going to and will come. I am offering a discounted price to my listeners, to you. 
my coaching program that will go into more detail. Of course, I can't do, I can't share all of the things and all of the processes that I go through with my clients. There's just not enough time. I use lots and lots of things to move my clients from negative thinking to positive results in their lives and in their relationships. Like I shared last week, I had an individual call me asking me to help him with his negative thinking. His wife was filing, it was getting ready to file for divorce, and he felt that if he was more positive and he could show his wife that he was changing, she would stop the proceedings. We scheduled a time to talk, and he didn't show up. I had another individual call me after seeing my book on a friend's table. She showed up for her appointment. From the first session, she started towards a new look on her life. After three sessions, she sent me a text about how good she felt. When we first met, she did not feel she was worthy of even being here on earth. You have a choice. You have a choice. In everything that you do, how do you show up for one thing is how you're going to show up for everything. Do you keep your commitments or do you not show up at all? Do you want change but you are not showing up to receive the gifts and opportunities that are in front of you? Or do you keep your commitments, do the work to begin the change to a positive life? I am giving you this opportunity. Are you going to show up or make excuses? Take the time and commitment. Go to either positivemindset.tv or to lisamyers.com and sign up for the free relationship strategy session with me. This is the first step to see if we are the right fit or even if the programs I have are for you or that's something that you need. There's no pressure, there's no hype, it's just having a good conversation. What do you have to lose but a life of negativity? Here is what one client said. I went from not being able to perform my job duties to being successful at my job, helping my peers, working on big projects and receiving a very positive annual review. My marriage is stronger than ever and I'm down to half the medication I was on. Lisa helped guide me to a positive new beginning. Oh, and I lost 24 pounds just from letting go. Lisa, don't ever think the work you do doesn't help people. I love you, Laura. Don't wait, sign up. There is a limited amount of space and the coaching program will begin in the next few weeks. If you like what you hear, please share with others on Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Until next week, you are creating your life and relationships. If you're not happy with the results, I can help. Go to positivemindset.tv or lisamyers.com and receive your free relationship strategy session with me today. Until next week, you make the world a better place.